Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa met with the World Jewish Congress President Ronald Lauda today who is currently visiting the Kingdom. The meeting reviewed topics that aim to achieve security, stability and world peace for all nations. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain is conducting many conferences and initiatives that aim to achieve religious convergence. He also said that Bahrain was capable of bringing together different religions in one country and hailed Bahraini society's tolerance and openness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met with the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, and Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Salah, as well as a number of state officials at Gudabiya Palace today. The Prime Minister affirmed that all achievements that have been made by Bahrain are a shared effort involving all the people. He thanked citizens for their noble sentiments and congratulations on the international honours and awards which he has recently received. His Royal Highness commended the support of His Majesty the King and the people for their efforts which gained him international honours, saying that it's not a recognition of him personally, but to the people of Bahrain. He said more efforts must be done to overcome all obstacles in order to achieve the aspirations of the citizens. The Prime Minister affirmed the government's resolve to continue work in all development projects and facilitate their smooth completion. He reiterated the government's commitment to enhance the existing cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities in order to achieve the best interests of the nation and fulfil the aspirations of the people. Regarding international issues, His Royal Highness said regional and international developments have affected Bahrain and asserted the kingdom's capability to successfully overcome all challenges. For their part, the audience expressed thanks to the Prime Minister for his constant keenness to increase coordination between legislative and executive branches and confirmed the legislative authorities resolved to continue to serve the country and its people.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met today at Gudabiyya Palace with the President of the Association for the Furtherance of Peace, Her Imperial Highness Archduchess Hertha Margaret, and her husband, Vice President of the Association, Archduke Sandor von Habsburg, who are concluding their visit to Bahrain after presenting His Royal Highness with the Flame of Peace Award. The Prime Minister highlighted the importance of collaborative efforts of international public and private institutions to spread and reinforce peace in the face of ongoing challenges of terrorism and extremism, which are threatening the security and livelihoods of people. He asserted that ongoing conflicts and tensions across the globe require the international community to take joint action to preserve the security and stability of humanity. His Royal Highness confirmed that Bahrain is and will remain a country of coexistence, peace, tolerance and openness based on the legacy of its people. He commended the pioneering role of the Association for the Furtherance of Peace and its message which aims to reinforce the principles of peace and tolerance across the world. For their part, President and Vice President of the Association for the Furtherance of Peace expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the warm welcome and hospitality they received during their stay in the Kingdom. They affirmed that presenting His Royal Highness the Prime Minister with the Flame of Peace Award comes in appreciation of his effective role in supporting the demands of development and peace, as well as for his efforts spreading the culture of peace and strengthening relations of cooperation and love amongst the people of the world. Archduchess Margaret also praised the development of the Kingdom in all fields, including culture and education. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the Cabinet meeting today at Gudabiyya Palace. His Royal Highness praised the success of the Bahrain Formula One Grand Prix, lauding the role of the organising committees, officials, government bodies, participants and attendees in contributing to the success of this international sporting event. He also praised the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and his efforts in enhancing the position of Bahrain on the world's sporting map. His Royal Highness then directed concerned officials to follow up on the needs of Galali Town and ensure the availability of sports, educational and health facilities, roads and other services which are required. A number of topics were discussed during the meeting. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of a new focus on economic sectors that provide job opportunities and attract national employees to ensure the stability of Bahrain's labour market and its ability to provide further job opportunities. Indicators showed annual growth in total employment of 5.5 per cent, with 158,000 Bahraini workers in both public and private sectors, which reflects the success of the government's efforts. The Cabinet discussed a new draft law regarding protected cell companies and referred the matter to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. Three law amendments were discussed regarding Central Bank of Bahrain, the CBB, forming the Bahrain Institute for Banking and Financial Studies in association with the CBB, adding new tasks to the CBB and adding more privileges and referred the matter to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The Cabinet discussed an agreement between governments of Bahrain and China regarding the exemption of requirements for visa, diplomatic and special passport holders in order to get a free visa for up to three months for both countries. A commercial agreement in the field of maritime between Bahrain and Egypt was discussed by the Cabinet and referred the matter to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The Cabinet also approved an air services agreement between the governments of Bahrain and Hungary, which was signed on January 21st of this year. A proposal by the Ministry of Health on the determining of the services and activities it provides according to the International Standard Industrial Classification of All Economic Activities was approved by the Cabinet. The Cabinet also approved proposals on establishing schools in certain areas, such as in the southern governorates, Zayed Town and Sitra Town. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa met today the World Jewish Congress President Ronald Lauda, who is currently visiting the Kingdom. 
The meeting reviewed regional and international efforts that aim to achieve stability in the Middle East. The Minister of Foreign Affairs stressed the necessity of exerting more efforts by the international community in order to overcome all obstacles that face the region. For his part, the WJC's president hailed Bahrain's remarkable support for all efforts which aim to secure both the region's security and peace. Minister of Education Dr. Majid al Nuemi patronised the Innovation Social Transformations International Forum today, hosted at the Arabian Gulf University, the AGU, in the Princess Johara al Ibrahim Centre, on the occasion of launching an Innovation Management PhD programme. The Minister of Education stressed the Kingdom's keenness to encourage innovation through its national strategy that aims to develop the higher education level and educational research. For his part, President of the Arabian Gulf University, Dr. Khaled Abdul Rahman Al Ohali, stressed the importance of innovation and creativity in the development of all GCC societies. Time for the latest updates in the business world now from Danielle. Thanks so much, Paul. Good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,133.64 points, marking an increase of 7.35 points above yesterday's closing level. The rise was predominantly felt in the commercial banking sector, although investors mainly traded in the investment sector to the level of 46% of total share value traded. In total, there were 16 transactions today involving 347,974 shares worth 117,425 Bahraini dinars. Bahrain's Economic Development Board, the EDB, signed an agreement today with the Arab Fund for Economic and Social Development to provide $50 million in loans to finance small and medium enterprises, or SMEs, in the private sector. EDB Chairman Khaled al Ramehi stressed the importance of financing SME activity in the country and said the deal is considered a major initiative in providing financial support to the private sector.